Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll talk more about the definition of Agile and how did Agile emerge, that is the origins we'll be talking about and the impact of Agile. Okay, so let's get started. Well, we'll start with emergence of Agile. Back in the day, many software companies found it challenging to create software that truly met the needs of businesses. They used a method called the waterfall approach. In waterfall approach, work happened step by step and you can't move to the next step until the previous one is completely finished. Because of its strict linear process, there were many issues. Projects often ended up costing more than planned. They took longer than expected and the worst part was sometimes after all that effort and time, the software they produced wasn't what the users were looking for. This caused frustration for both the companies making the software and the businesses that were using it. They needed a better way to match the software to the user's real needs and to adapt to changes more quickly. That was the time for the emergence of Agile. Well, Agile was not born overnight. It was culmination of various lightweight software development methods introduced in the 1990s. However, the real momentum for Agile began in early 2000 when a few forward-thinking software developers convened to discuss the prevalent challenges in the industry. These discussions gave birth to the Agile Manifesto. This manifesto wasn't just a set of rules or a new methodology that should be followed, but it was a philosophy. It was more of a thinking approach. It centered on four key values and 12 principles that prioritized individuals and interactions over processes, working products over exhaustive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiations, and responding to change over following a rigid plan. Now, let's discuss the impact that Agile Manifesto has made. The Agile Manifesto is like a guidebook that tells teams to take time to think about their work. Always listen to what the customers are saying and be ready to make the changes when needed. There are different ways to follow this guide and two of the popular methods are Scrum and Kanban. These methods help teams work together and make changes smoothly, especially when they get new information or when needs change. By doing this, teams can make sure that the software or the product they are creating matches what the users really need. Plus, they can get it out for the people to use more quickly than traditional methods. Over past 20 years, Agile methods which started in software development has become popular in many different fields. This includes sectors like marketing where strategies and campaigns are planned, manufacturing where physical products are made, finance which deals with money management and investments and even education where teaching methods and curriculum designs are considered. What's making Agile so popular across the diverse fields? The core ideas behind Agile focus on teamwork and being flexible. Instead of sticking rigidly to a plan, businesses using Agile are open to making changes based on new information or feedback. This helps team react quickly to any changes in the market or customer needs. As a result, these businesses often see several benefits. They can get things done more efficiently, which means saving time and resources. Their customers tend to be happier because they get the products or services that match their needs. Plus, the people working in these businesses often feel more involved and satisfied with their work. As Agile methods encourage 
active participation and value every team members input so that was all in this video let's move to the next one